Our voyage has taken quite the dark turn. This was most unexpected. Curse that witch! Floraburn has transformed us into rats and kidnapped my son, Timothy! Things hardly look better for you four. If we get out of this, all that awaits you in Britain is a trial for high treason. They will try you, and very likely find you guilty. The penalty for such crimes, I'm afraid to say, is death. Such is the fate of all who rebel against the crown. Your trial will be fair, but your guilt is beyond doubt. But perhaps you do have some luck. My misfortune could be to your benefit. A captain can never abandon the sacred duty he has to his ship over. At any cost to myself or my family, I must remain to guard the ship. So here's my offer to you. Rescue my son Timothy and defeat Flora Byrne. Bring me the witch, dead or alive, I do not care which. In return, you will be cleared of all charges. So, is there one among you crazy enough to captain this mission? from a rat like Flora, literally. Taking advantage of the chaos like that and taking little Timmy with her too? I do not like it, but for the sake of my people, I must do what I must do. The warrior's path takes unexpected forms. I did not predict that destiny would transform me in this way. Oh, and take this amulet. Flora dropped it during her escape. Perhaps it will be of use to you. It is none to me. was it to let Johnson cook? The base camp latrines won't be able to handle what's coming their way. If only it had a bit of black pepper. The spiciness would at least do something to hide the taste. What I wouldn't give for a bit of spice. Blacksmith, that is the blacksmith. Ain't here at the mo. Come back later. We'll probably give you a hand. <laughs> since we've had newbies. I remember the last one, young Jimmy. What a great student. We fought together in Port Royal, and he did great, Jimmy did. But unfortunately, he lost his ear in that fight to the death with Spoon. He might have been admiral. Without the ear, the hat just wouldn't stay in place. Anyway, enough about that. You listen here, recruit. Do you want to hear Major Mallory's martial lesson? Out was easy. Too easy, recruit. All right then. What about an air attack and an uppercut? Bravo. Good work, recruit. We'll make something of you yet. On to the next. I am about to Well done, Rupert. Smart work and no mistake. You close and six alive. We're cooking with petrol now. We'll make a marine of you yet. Crab. 
always cheating. I'm sure he's got an ace up his sleeve. Or, you know, in the claw, I guess. If only I had a gosh darn ace of spades, I could beat him in this round. This bad streak can't go on forever. What are you looking at? You're making me nervous. I can't play poker like that. Urgh. Careful out there. Flora and her gang of wrongins are making an army of monsters at. Master, would you like to buy something? Ah, now why the long faces? You did. We lost a lot of our cargo with provisions in the shipwreck. What? Ah, but I do have a heart now. We can work out a little commercial agreement, to be sure. Would you like to buy something? Boy's a slacker if ever I've seen one. If he's not finished with the bridge soon, we'll never get the good supply train going. Now, if you see him, you tell him from me to get shifted, or he'll be peeling potatoes for a whole month by thunder. What's going on now? Stop! Who are you, ghost? I am not a ghost. Mind your manners. I am Wu Yun, emissary of the Shen of the Southern Sea. And I've been it. But how is this possible? This is witchcraft. Of all the things in heaven and earth, Almost all are beyond your capacity for understanding. I will attempt to explain, however. The Eye of the Serpent has passed hand to hand around the world for centuries. We have always shown our favor to the master of the Eye of the Serpent. And ever have we charged a fair price for it. Some have attempted to destroy it, but the Eye of the Serpent remains to observe the world. In its recent history, Flora Burns stole the Eye of the Serpent in the Caribbean. Flora is now beginning to grasp the power she has in her hands, and her abilities grow by the hour. This is all because of a bit of jewelry? Why do pirates have such an obsession with shiny things? Enough. We have no time for further talk. Every minute is precious. Flora Byrne has the ring. The other half of the Eye of the Serpent. Which was separate. I am owed a debt for my service to her. And I will take payment. My powers are greatly weakened without the ring. But I can feel ancient and powerful magic flowing in this land. Harvest all the spiritual energy you can, and I will help you recover your strength, reward you with great powers, and perhaps I can make you human again. All right, Grandpa, enough chit-chat. I'm in a hurry to get all this hair off my head. 
I've been given two missions today, and they both have the same aim. Apparently, this Flora doesn't know how to make friends. Perfect. Remember that your fellow prisoners can help you. And now, my first favor. I will awaken your inner element. Powerful magic in this place. Find other ancestral doors. Give me the kid, and maybe I'll let you go. Are you kidding me? Are you really the best blacksmith they could find to come after me? This isn't worth my time. Fatso, get rid of them. Bye-bye, rat. <laughs> A little rat looking for trouble. I've been locked down in that boat for so long that I can't even remember the last time I was at a party. 
But looks like the party's come to Fatso this time. Shall we dance? Sorry, Toadface. You're not my type. I'm gonna hit you so hard, your ears will dead. Meet again, and then I'll show you what real pain is. 